Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set up your Samsung Galaxy 23 series and transfer data over from an old Android device. So first, before we begin, actually you need to uh, insert your SIM card. So make sure your SIM card is inserted into the device. Then press and hold on the power button to power up your device. If you set a, uh, a SIM pin, then put in the SIM pin for the SIM card. And once you get to the welcome screen, tap on the drop down to select a language. So in here, I'm going to select a language and then tap on OK. After that, we're going to tap on the start button. And here, select the checkbox to agree to the terms and then tap on agreed. Next is a setup using another device. So make sure the device that you are um, transferring the data over have enough battery power. It is best if you fully charge both device before we starting to transfer the data over. So in here, we can tap on Galaxy or Android device. And on this device here, we can uh, tap on the camera icon to scan it. Or if we go back in here and then tap on agree, it should kind of like ask if you want to pair the device together, as you can see before. Oh, there it is. So I'm just going to put in the passcode again. So here we can choose setup. And it should be trying to connecting. So over here, we're going to scan it. So scan the QR code. And I'm just going to tap on use pin to verify it. And then tap on continue. And now say continue setup on your new device. Okay, after some time, you will see the screen where it says copy apps and data. In here, tap on the next button. And as it get started with smart switch, so tap on allow, then tap on next on your other device on your old Android device, make sure you either already install Samsung Smart Switch Mobile from the Play Store. If you have already installed it, you may need to update. So I'm going to tap on the update button to update the Smart Switch. And if you haven't got one, go to the Play Store and install Samsung Smart Switch, allowing both devices to communicate with each other. Okay, so after installing, tap on the allowed on old Android device, then tap on allowed. And now we go back to the Galaxy S23 and tap on next. Then we can use transfer wirelessly or use a cable instead. In this video, I'm going to select transfer wirelessly. And now that the phone will start to scan the other device and it will check to see what needs to be transferred over. Now in here you can choose everything. So it will transfer everything from an old Android device over to the new S23. Or you can select just calls, contacts and messages or you can tap on custom. So let's go into custom and see what, um, what you'll be able to transfer over. I'm going to tap on next. And in here you can see at the top I can select everything or I can simply choose what I want to transfer over. So you can transfer calls and contacts. You can transfer messages. You can transfer apps. So let's expand apps. If you tap on the right arrow, you can expand it and view more information. In here, you can see it will um, try to select most of the apps. In here, it says calendar. Calendar can't send events from sync accounts. Uh, we've got internet clock, uh, keys cafe, uh, smart things and so on. So whatever you have on this device here, it will mostly transfer over. If there is some apps that you don't want to transfer over, you can simply deselect them like so. And then tap on done. And then after that, we're going to tap on the back key. Or you can tap on next and then you go down. There's Galaxy wearable that you can transfer over. Uh, settings, home screen, you'll be able to transfer over images, videos, <coughs> audio, 
documents and files so these are the things that you can transfer over and then I'm going to deselect some of them uh, such as apps and anything that's too big videos and then I'm going to tap on transfer so after you have selected what you want to transfer over just tap on the transfer button in here, the process will begin to transfer data from an old phone to the new device. Now you can tap on keep screen on so you can keep track of what's going on. And when you tap on the keep screen on, the screen will dim to save power. Otherwise you can simply uh, switch it off. So I'm going to tap on keep screen on. And we're just gonna wait for the data to be transferred over. Okay, when it's finished transferring the data over, on your old device, just tap on done. Now we can put it out of the way because the data has completed transferring over to the new device. Now on the S23, we're going to tap on the more button at the bottom to go down. In here, choose what you want to turn on or turn off, such as use location, allow scanning, device maintenance, and so on. Then tap on the accept button at the bottom Next, it said here, protect your phone. So use face recognition, fingerprints, pin, password, or a pattern. So I'm going to set up a pin and I'll put in one, two, three, four. Then I'll select confirm pin without tapping OK and tap on the continue button. And I'm going to tap on use anyway. It said this pin can be guessed easily. I'm going to put in the same pin again to confirm and tap on OK. Next, it will attempt to um, uh, connect to Google. So here we say, it said access your assistance with Hey Google. So tap on more and tap on I agree, or you can skip. And then tap on more, I agreed. And next, it says review additional apps. If there is any apps that you don't want to install, you can deselect it. So here, such as Samsung Global Goals, if you don't want to uh, have that app on, you can uninstall it. So Samsung members, pen up, Samsung wallet, any apps that you don't want to use, you can simply deselect and will not installed on your device. And then tap on OK. And now it's a getting your phone ready. OK, next, you can either enter in your Samsung account now, or you can do that later by tapping on the skip button. So if you want to sign in now, you can put in the email address or sign in with Google. Okay, on the next screen, just tap on more, then tap on agree, and say you're all set up, so tap on finish. And that's it, so now if you swipe down at the top of the screen, you can see that it is still trying to uh, organize your data. So just let, do that, let, let the phone do its job on the background. Do not turn off the device now because it's still uh, trying to install apps and it's still trying to organize the data on the background. So just let finish the, uh, the setup. And if you go into settings, you can see the older account has been signed in into your Samsung account. Uh, your Google account should also be signed in already uh, from the, the data from your old device. So it will bring over the home screen. You can see the home screen looks um, identical. And if I swipe across, you can see it looks uh, similar. Um, it's not finished yet. It's still installing uh, apps on the background. So give it a few moments for it to complete its job. And that's it. That is how you can set up your Samsung Galaxy S23 and transfer the data over from the old Android device. And before you go ahead and erase your old device, make sure all the data has been properly transferred over. So I would suggest you check your gallery for photos or videos, uh, check your contacts, check your apps data, and go into my files. You see, make sure that all your documents is all in there. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.